Oh, get out of here. That's, oh. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Wah, wah, wah. Good afternoon. This is Deb Amlin for the New York Times, and welcome back to Heroes, Comedy Heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Here's how magicians talk. Wow. That's what we're doing. one of those, Elaine. Oh. Stay over. Wow. We are going to be feeding Sam sugar uh, and see how much it actually takes for him to lose his ability to solve. Right. This is science. We're doing this for science, Sam. Good afternoon, this is Deb Amlin for the New York Times and welcome back to Crosswords Live. If you didn't tune in next last week, sorry, if you didn't tune in last week, uh, that was our premiere episode of a new live stream that we're doing for beginners on Monday. If you are new to solving, please join us on Mondays at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I believe. Um, anyway, 1 p.m. Eastern. And um, we will be talking about what it takes to become a better solver. Um, so this stream will be a little less competitive than the Thursday one, uh, but just as much fun, I hope. And uh, we have a special guest today, one of our own, uh, Jamie Joyen Waldorf, who is in our HR department here at the New York Times and is a relatively new solver. Welcome, Jamie. Yes, thanks so much, Deb. Thanks for having me. Definitely a new solver. <laughs> Yes, yes, but you know what? That's great because the whole the whole thing about solving is about setting yourself up for success. So we're going to talk a little bit about solving today and about this puzzle, which happens to be a debut by uh, Stephanie Lesser, which is great. Stephanie has been published, I believe, in other places. Uh, which I don't know off the top of my hand, so I'm sorry about that, Stephanie. But today is her New York Times debut, and that's pretty that's pretty special. Um, a lot of people do tend to start off debuting at the beginning of the week because they um, well, it's not necessarily easier to make a Monday puzzle. It's it's not, in fact. But people do tend to think in terms of the themed puzzles, which are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and Sunday, um, when they are first starting to construct. Uh, let's see, Mulan is with us and Valeria Silvestri is with us. Happy Monday, everybody. I'm, I'm really glad you could join us. Um, as I said, today's puzzle is by Stephanie Lesser. And um, Jamie, when you look at a blank grid, what is your first thought? Uh, this is way bigger than the minis that I normally do. Is my first thought. I don't. I don't tend to try the big ones um, a lot of the time, but I will do a, a mini pretty consistently. Okay. Great. Well, you know, everybody uh, pretty much knows about our our minis, which are free, uh, usually five by five or seven by seven puzzles uh, in in our app. And uh, they're written mostly by Jill Fogliano, uh, who is our digital puzzles editor. And here's the fallacy that I think a lot of people really uh, don't understand about the minis. A lot of people say to me, I'm not that good a solver, but I can do the minis. And the truth of the matter is, if you do them consistently, you see that the clues in the minis are actually a mixed bag. They're of, of difficulty. So if you can do the mini, you can solve the dailies, most definitely, and po possibly here. past past Mondays too. We have a lot of people joining us. Hi, Amber. Hi, Dawn. Uh, Dawn says the mini scare her. I, I'm not sure why. Uh, let's see. And Valeria says, Fagliano, my hero. Yes. Yeah. Everybody loves Joel. Um, you know what, Jamie, when I look at a blank puzzle grid, I get a momentary feeling of panic and overwhelmingness. And then I remember my cardinal rule of solving, which is read the clues first. Okay. Okay. I gaze down the clue lists and I look for what we call gimmies, the ones that you definitely know. All so right. generally the ones that we know the best are the fill in the blanks. 
Um, have you noticed anything about that? Have you? No, have I you feel like I've watched some of these before. You've said to look at the gimmies, and then this is where it all goes downhill. Because if I don't have the gimmies, then I just know it's going to be. Don't say that. So don't say that. We've got it. Let's see. How about you. 16 across? Oh, blank night. Is that, is that holy? That's holy. Look at you solving the New York Times crossword. <laughs> That's great. So let's find another one that we know. And I'm sorry, it's very. Uh, Oh, here we go. 36 down. 36. Zippity do blank. Ooh, da. Yes. Very good. And uh, Amber Fowler agrees on holy. Uh, what else have we got? Um, 45 down, the blank of Avon. And there's even a help. There's there's even some assistance yeah, in that from yeah. Shakespeare. Uh, is it Duke? He wasn't the Duke. He was know. known more. This is a cinnamon, cinnamon, a synonym for um, a very talented writer. Oh, you might need to come back to that one. And I'm a theater person too. This is embarrassing. I know. I, I never was one for Shakespeare. Let's say just <laughs> just so people know how multifaceted people who work for the New York Times are. Jamie not only works in HR but is also a Broadway theater producer, right? Yes, indeed. What so, did you produce? I I co-produced um, Frankie and Johnny in the Claire de Lune in 2019. That was with Audra McDonald and Michael Shannon. And then I do have another off-Broadway musical coming up in September called A Commercial Jingle for Regina Comet. So those are my- Wow, that's great. That's so see, and all I do is knit, you know, and, and ferment things. I make a lot of pickles, but um, that's awesome. So let's see, maybe we can, maybe we can do the crossing. What is 45 across? 45 across. What balloons mm -hmm. do when you prick them with something? Oh, 46 across. Well, what do balloons do when you prick them? Ooh, well, they, they pop, but that's too, too short. Right. So mm. what else do they do? Uh, uh, explode, burst. Burst. burst there we go there we go very good because explode would be too long now let's go back to 45 down the yeah. blank of avon it starts oh, with a b is it barred it's barred so go. that's another rule after check for your gimmies always do the crossings luke Use the crossings because that will help you get more you know more than you do it was in there you just needed a little help okay. getting it out. Right? No, that was a good one. That's a good song. Right. Nine Bark Outfitters saying, now I'm jonesing for a synonym, a synonym roll. Look, I did it twice. Let's <laughs> a cinnamon roll. Uh, OK, well, let's see. Let's let's take a look at some other ones. Um, let's hmm. see. 52 oh. across, that would be airline. Yeah. Where are you? Jeff Bluerdale? Yeah. Delta or air uh, is an airline, and if you have the word or in there, it's going to be a singular. Okay, good to know. Right? If it, if it was JetBlue and Delta, it would be plural Jet Airlines. So that's mm -hmm. another thing you can keep in mind when you're solving. There's lots of like picky little rules, but I swear if you know them and they're really not that hard, you will immediately become a much better solver. Because there are people who will look at that, you know, JetBlue or Delta and say, oh, those are airlines and try to, and think that the answer is wrong because the S doesn't fit in. Mm -hmm. But the clue is written very specifically so that you can get to the correct answer. And they try to be fair. Um, let's see. Everybody's everybody's saying, wow, I think I, a synonym role will go down really well right now. Focus, oh, people. Yeah. <laughs> We're solving. Yeah, uh, you, you need to help me in the chat. Let's see. Um, right. uh, there's okay, one. Okay, here's person. here's one that we should know. Issue a book or magazine. Ooh, I do it every day with my column. Post? I don't know. Well, post, but the the button the button doesn't say post. It says something else. It says it says publish, but that's uh, too that's long. That's right. Oh wait, oh, okay. <laughs> that's right. No, my bad, my bad. I was looking no, at a cross. Okay. Another word. Uh, Rev Mike Cohn and Amber Fowler agree with you on publish. Todd Hamlin says thirty nine across is day D E I Opus, Opus day. day. There you go. There's another fill in the blank. 
the thing about the fill in the blanks, Jamie, is that your brain loves, not just your brain, but everybody's brain loves to fill in missing information. So you may not think you know it, but your brain, when you read Opus, pretty much guaranteed your brain will say day. Hopefully if I was paying attention in, in church. Right. <laughs> There's that. All right. Where would you like to go next? Are there um, any here's some, here's some more, more fill in the blanks. Why don't we look at those? I think okay. I need a couple of them. I think, you're, I think you're getting a little more confident now. <laughs> go oh, ahead. Oops. Ooh, counseling. Aid. Now there's a little assistance there. Aid for job hunters. What kind of what kind of counseling would you get if you were a job hunter? Career. That's there you go. Very good. Look at you go. All right, and we can have. Which where would you like to go now? Uh, I think there is one more. Fill in the blank, at least. Okay. I thought I knew. What else is new? Nice. Look at you. That's great. Ooh, I don't. <laughs> okay, now, okay, but it's the same is, forward and backwards. That's a palindrome. This is well. That's the hint. It's a palindrome, palindromic greeting. So you can figure it out from the beginning of that sentence. What would it be? Uh, is it, ma'am? I don't know. Like well, if you're reading backwards, it would be Adam. And it happens to be a palindrome that a lot of crossword people know because Adam comes up a lot. In the I'm Adam. Oh, Adam, I'm Adam. Adam, I'm Adam. Right. Because I've never heard of that in my life, but useful. <laughs> that's OK. It's it's what the kind of thing you commit to memory. Uh, Valeria Silvestri got Adam and uh, Rev Mike Cohn says, woohoo, go, Jamie, go. All right. I'll try. <laughs> Yeah, uh, ballet leap. Oh, a ballet leap. Where you have your legs out, <laughs> one in front and one in back. Yeah, I think come back. I think come back to that one. Okay. <laughs> Printer paper problems is that jams? Yes, very good. Okay. And you know that because the clue is plural, the answer has to be plural, right? right? That's something you're familiar with. That the tenses have to match. Makes sense. Okay. All righty. Oh, relative of a great white. Like the shark? Relative of or a great whale. White. Or a whale. Yeah. Mm, well, the, is it supposed to be Moby? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. It would probably be another noun. Another noun, okay. Instead of a proper name. A proper noun. That makes sense because it's not proper in this in this clue. Right. Hmm. A relative of a great white, and it's mm -hmm. with an M. We can mm -hmm. come back. We we'll come, 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 back. come back. All right. No. I will. I will. My friend who does music will probably be really upset that I don't know. Music okay. makes it a step and a half below A. I'm trying to think of my piano. And I think it oh, that's is a, hard one. a, okay, it's four letters, so it's not sharp. So it's G flat, maybe. Very good. Wow. There we go. I had to think of the keys on the piano. Right, right. Yeah, I, I that goes way back for me to like, you know, junior high school piano lessons, and I don't even remember. Okay. King, King Royal, is that it? Very good. Look at you go. Keep it, keep, let's keep going. Now, I will tell you that at 17 across and some of the other long across entries, we have the theme. You've oh, run into theme. themes before, right? I've Do run you... into themes. I'm normally not great at <laughs> Okay, that's all right. This yeah. is a tough one because, and it. I'm not giving anything away because it says this in the clues, it's a, what we call a quip theme or a quote theme. The it runs through the puzzle and it is a quip or a quote that somebody said. And unfortunately for you, this one was made up by by the uh, by Miss Lesser, the author of the puzzle. Um, so we're going to have to kind of read her mind, but I promise mm. you it will be worth it in the end because it's actually I bet it's a good one. What? I bet it's a good one. I want to do oh, her, her debut. 
Now, do you know what the wax wrapped cheese is? That comes up a lot in crosswords too. A wax wrapped cheese in the second letter is a D. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's, I believe it's Dutch and it has, comes in red wax. Oh, I have seen those, but I definitely don't know. I'm actually not, a, I eat cheese on like items, but I'm actually not one. Yeah. I don't eat cheese like on its Same own. Here. <laughs> oh, Pinball and Cancer is with us and says, I know the constructor of this puzzle. Awesome. Well, welcome. Ooh, Come welcome. Sit down and join us. It's a good uh, puzzle. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see what else we've got here. Um, I can tell you that one down, the ballet leap is jeté. Oh, the French. Yeah. <laughs> jeté. Okay. There you go. Um, let's see what else. And Amber Fowler wants to give you some support by saying, Jamie, as we go along, you'll notice you know more of these than you think you do. This is what I told you before we started streaming. You, there is stuff in your head that you don't even remember that you remember. And when you call on it, it will go through the files and pull out things that you, will just blow your mind. Now that is, now we have ED blank blank. Do you want to take a guess? Wax wrap cheese. ED. I guess I have, I guess I've never actually known what the red, the red wrap cheese is okay. called. It's, it's okay. We, we can come back to that because we'll probably get it through the Wait, cross. Like, what's three down? Maybe three down is that. Oh, it's the white one, which we don't know. Question. How about four and down? Four down is, ooh, yeah, well. is very long. <laughs> um, but you know what? I'll bet we know more about it. Let's see if we can get a couple of letters there. How about 23 across? Well, decorate with bathroom tissue. Oh, now, tea, like go ahead. Tea, like TP. TPs, right? Tea Toilet tea. papers. Very good. TPs. Okay, because it's a mess. I see. Right. Oh. So decorates is a plural, mm. which means that the answer has to be a plural. There we go. So we could just throw that in. Now, Valeria Silvestri has um has help for you at 20 across if you'd like it. 20 across love or hate yeah go for it she says it's emotion those are indeed emotions yes would be good and it's singular because we have the or word there as opposed to the and which would make uh, it plural that'll do it now how about Ooh. this one in love do you oh, have to... yes there go. awesome good for you now look at us we're killing this now you want to take a guess at 14 across now ed blank m no, i still have no clue i think we're just gonna have to well i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a vowel okay so and this kind of shark is a relative of a great white white mm. Amber Fowler's got it if you want some help. Is, yeah, is it an it's an A or an E, I want to say. Um maybe not. I don't know. Amber says it's <laughs> Mako, M A M A K O. A Mako show. Mako? Mako. A Mako. Oh, okay. Today. Uh let's see. All right. So we Five got across, that I think one. is um that's the tribe. I think that's elder. I think so too. Good job. Now let's see if we can get some of those short downs. Right. What's what's Total. all about me, me, me? Total flop. What is a dud? I would I think that's a good guess. Yeah. Mm, and how, guess about, how about eight down? Which I, I love this clue. What's all about me, me, me? Now the what is we're looking for a substitution for that. <clears throat> What's all about me, me, me? What's all about me, me, me? I feel like the, okay, I feel like, I don't know if anyone else relates, the clues where it's like word play and stuff, those are the ones that I'm the worst at. <laughs> That's okay. You know what helps with that? Um, practice. Yes. And is. possibly a cocktail. I mean, <laughs> so uh, let's see. 
Okay, what's this 13 one? Thirteen horses, says five and eight down are similar. Oh. Breakfast item in a toaster. Oh, yeah, they are kind of similar. Oh, like egos? Yeah. Like so egos. And what's all about me, me, me? That would be oh, ego. 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 Very yeah. good. Thank you for that, T13R. That was good. Uh, let's see. How about, well, this is interesting. Um, let's let's go to 17 across for a sec. Let's just take a look at that. The only help we have is the clue says summary quip part one. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to say that that letter at 18 down is got the first letter has got to be an N and that's going to be taking. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. Money you have to t pay back. Oh, a loan. Very good. Now let's go to, um, yeah, let's go to 15 across Galgo. That doesn't look right to me. That is no. And, uh, taking a doy. I don't think that's a <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't think, think so. <laughs> uh, what what does uh, let's let's go back to fifteen. Probably o'clock. my gut is wrong. That was a, that was a guess. So I yeah. So right. to way overcharge means to what? Is a gouge? Gouge. Yeah. So yeah. you were in the right neighborhood with nine down. Okay. You so you had the wrong Regal. adjective. Regal. Regal. Good job. Nine Bark Outfitters. Uh, um agrees with regal and t13r says he he or she or they made the same mistake and amber fowler's got it so but that's okay the nice thing about doing this online or even in print is that's what the eraser is for or the backspace yeah. key and the auto check i've i've been known to use the auto check but i i turn it Me like too. on and off so yes yes uh and there's nothing wrong with that all right uh where else would you like to go Oh, let's see what else we have. Hmm. Trio of Greek goddesses. Is that the siren? Well, it's, it's a trio. It's a trio. So I'm thinking that that's going to end in an S, as does 18 down. Oh, okay, okay. Mm, so it's not, so it's, we have too many, too Couple few. Bites and nips, yeah. Uh, trio of great goddesses. Mm. Oh. I think I know that, but I'm not too sure. Can we can we do 34 across? 34 pizzazz. 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 This is oh, another word. That comes others. Is this a plural? Is this plural? What? Yes. Oh, and others, yes. And others? Mm hmm Well, that's Al Gore. Right. So Al. it would be Al's, other Al's. people who are named Al. Got it, got it. So whenever you see and other, it would be whatever. Uh, it's usually a name, but it would be whoever, whatever the name of that person is and others. Mm. So, okay. Outstanding gotcha. accomplishments. We got a plural again. Let's drop that S in there. That doesn't always work, but it works a lot. Mm. That's a good rule. Just fill in all the S's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you listen it's your puzzle do it the way you, you want to go through the puzzle filling in all the s's at first that's perfectly fine mm -hmm. okay let's see i definitely don't know that one but let's see okay that's it. fine okay, but the 41 down that's hashtag worry oh yeah hashtag in social media that's the uh octothorpe or the pound sign there we go we made it halfway. I got saw a little pop up, so that's good. Yep, yep. We're halfway. Come on, you're crushing this. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Trying to look. Break one of the ten commandments. That's sin, probably. Where, where are you? The eight down. Eight down. Fifty-eight down. Oh, fifty-eight down. Sorry. Okay. Well, let's let's see. We'll find out if if. Uh, the crossers work boxer who floated like a butterfly stung like a bee do you remember who this was <laughs> no he spoke, it's better before my time <laughs> he spoke very he spoke, spoke very poetically and he thought a lot of himself at least publicly in real life he was very humble oh 
Okay. We might need more help with it. Okay. More, more stuff. That's okay. I'll just um, I'm feeling like, very old. Um, <laughs> uh, what, what have we got here? I'm, I'm younger than I look, so you, you should. Okay. <laughs> and I'm older than I look. So. <laughs> A group of five to which is added and sometimes why. This is a tricky one. Oh. It's trickier than it looks. Hmm. Group of five, which is added and sometimes, and sometimes where, why? Yeah, where have you heard um, people rattle off something and at the end it says, and sometimes why? Oh, vowels. Yes. Yeah. Now, here's the tricky part. This will fit vowel, mm. right? Type that in, please, Isaac. Type in vowel. Okay. So see how that fits? That's the kind of thing that will drive you crazy, but we know it's wrong for two reasons. One is there are very few uh, English words that start with WS, like mm -hmm. Isaac is highlighting. And in the down, in four, at 47 down, it would really have to be vowels, right? Group, it's a group of five, that's oh, plural. True. Yeah. So it can't be vowel. But what are the vowels? Uh, Name them. A, E, I, O, U. There you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Sometimes it's okay to have a string of random letters. <laughs> and you're exactly. for making puzzles. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so far we've got part one of the quip, which is taking a dog taking a dog. Okay. Right. And now we have to figure out what the rest of it is, but we're going to do that by hopping around and getting all the ones that we, we know. Okay. So we've got A I O U. Where else would you like to go where we have quite a bit filled in? Let's see. Hmm. 48 across. We have two thirds of writing. You might keep away from prying eyes. Oh, wait, or, no. that's 40 down. Oh, yeah. Wow. How about a little like bit a, of disappointment? Like a dab. Good. Excellent. And now writing you oh, might, a diary. Yes. Look how fast you're doing this. This childhood, is my childhood diary. So it still has the lock on it. <laughs> I'm going to break it if I need to want to look I, at it. <laughs> I, I, right. I told you that there was stuff in here in, in your head that you, you didn't know you remembered. <laughs> uh, let's see. T13R says it's a good quip. Yeah, I thought so too. Uh, let's see. How about what else can we do? Let's see. 46 across. Got quite a bit of that. Pointed, say. Sharp. Yeah, excellent. And that goes back to the balloon that we burst before. Oh, true. Okay, yeah. so that goes with that. What is the say supposed to tell you? Is that a- Oh, that's a great question. Um, where did you see that? That was, it said pointed say. Oh, pointed say. Um, it's to help you know that we're, we're talking about, I can't, it's hard for me to describe with this clue. Um, it could mean more than one thing pointed. Oh, okay. So pointed say is I need an example of something that's pointed, something that's sharp is pointed. Yep. Um, but that's a very good question. And Amber Fowler is saying, you're getting these, Jamie. Like I said, you know more of these than you think. Uh, thanks, Amber. Uh, okay. Let's see. Where where do you want to go now? Uh, well, let's see. I, as a, I used to drink soda. What's this Coca-Cola soft drink brand? Oh, um, wow. Uh, Ooh, ooh, man. I remember this one. Maybe I, I don't get in a while though. Mm, okay, never mind. I do not, I okay. do not know. We'll try. Well. Yeah, let's try that. Auto, short is car? Auto is a car. Yeah. So FR, do we know it? Does that help? Uh, I know that they had one called like freestyle, but that's too long. Yeah, it's, it's a soft drink brand. So it would be the name oh. of owned by Coca-Cola. Owned by Coca-Cola. You would think I know I'm a big brand. 
person. Yes. Yeah. We'll come back to it. Maybe we'll, ref, maybe another one. Okay. And ref, my cone is happy to help you with that one if you want. With or the, we can come back. Well, well, let's come back and we, but I will accept the help. Okay. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Um, where do you want to go next? I'm trying to look at the clues. Let's see. Mm. Oh, this was a funny one. Large cat you shouldn't trust on a test. This is a this is a snorter, a real groaner. And there's a question mark there at the end. Do you know what the question marks mean? Uh, isn't it puns? Well, it can be a pun. What it really means is that you shouldn't take the uh, the clue at face value. So there's it's not really it's not really a large cat that is not trusted on a test. It's the name of the large cat sounds like oh that you shouldn't that's... trust on a test. Cheater. A, a cheater. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I get it. I funny. will admit I snorted at that one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Maybe that upper, upper yeah. corner. Maybe we can... Yes, Amber Fowler said that's a dad joke. It most certainly is. Yeah, oh, my uh, dad's watching, so I hope you like that dad's joke. Right. <laughs> uh, included in an email in brief. Now, included is past tense, which means that the answer has to be in past tense. Yeah, CC'd. CC'd, very good. Easter egg colorers. Like, ooh, dyes? Yeah, yeah, I think they're talking about the dyes themselves, yeah. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Encourage with sweet talk. Ooh. And this is relaxation, the crosser. Relaxation. Ooh. Or this one is pinnacles. Ooh, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. If you get stuck at a crossing, the best, there are a couple of things you can do. One is skip to another part of the puzzle and come back to it. Or you can even put the puzzle down all together, walk away and do something else. One of the things that helps a lot is to know that even if you're off doing something else, your brain will continue to work on this in the background. And when you come back with fresh eyes, you'll probably be able to fill in a lot more. You'd be surprised at what you can figure out. Mm, okay. Wait, okay. So ease, I think, is relaxation. Yes, is very it, good. Is and it coax? It is. Okay. Coax. Now, what is that uh, crosser? Pinnacles. Ooh. Highest point of something. Oh, a apexes. Good. Excellent. Well, it's easy if you have like a, a coach in a chat. So uh, <laughs> yeah, but you want to know something? You're, I know we're throwing a lot at you today, but you, the more you do with this, the more you're going to recognize how the clues are written and what they're really asking you to do. If you're aware of these rules, you can read the clues with completely different eyes and understand that the this is not about what you know. This is about understanding what the clues are asking you to do. Mm. I mean, there's some general knowledge needed, but uh, you can make a lot of headway if you understand that the tenses have to match, that if there's foreign language in the clue, there the answer has to be in that language. Um, Every, you know, your your own brain will become your coach, says Jen L. And that's a very good point. But it really, it really requires practice. And did you know, Jamie, were you aware that we have a free guide on how to solve the New York Times crossword puzzle? Is that the, was that the wordplay column that you all? Yeah, well, yeah. the wordplay is column is, is a daily column for each uh, puzzle that we put out. But if you go to the top of wordplay, uh, which I believe is www.nytimes.com slash column slash wordplay. And thank you, Isaac. I just put the uh, guide the guide in the uh, stream, in the restream chat. Um, there is a 
a guide on how to solve the New York Times crossword puzzle. And we take you through each type of clue individually. And at the end of each chapter, there is a mini that you can do to practice your newfound skills. Oh, I love that. It's free, whether you're a subscriber or not. So take a look at that. And if you work your way through, you will probably be able to make it most of the way through the week. All righty. I will check out this, this guide. <laughs> uh, let's see. Grandmothers informally. Informally. Well, it's a plural, so put, put that S at the end. <laughs> All right. You got yeah, that one. Good. And what, um, what would you call 33 it? down. Is that shirt? Garment below a blouse. I, don't I, know. I would say that's a good guess. Or below a blouse. Below a blouse, so sk mm, skirt. Yes, I yes. would say that's probably below and like the actual. Yeah, know, physically the... below. Um, how about 22 down? Let's let's take a look at that one because we've got a couple. 22 down, a showy garden flower. Ooh. Now we've got PA and three blanks after that. Right. Is pansy a type of flower? I don't it know. It is. That. It is? Okay. It is, and they're very pretty. Um, the other thing that T13R would like you to know is that abbreviations uh, are the same, or a form of matching. If there's an abbreviation in the clue, by and large, the uh, answer will be an abbreviation as well. Oh, okay. Got it, got okay, it. So if you see, right, if you Later, see, Ralph Nader. if you see, Abbrev ABBR period in parentheses, that's an abbreviation. If you see something abbreviated in the clue, that will be an abbreviation. If you see that the clue says something br brief in brief or for short, that indicates an abbreviation. So, you know, basically you, you learn, the more you do this, the more you learn to read the clues with you know, I like to call it smarter eyes. You know what, as soon as you see in brief, you know what to do. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I definitely, that took a little bit to learn and I'm still getting used to it. So that's- That's useful. okay, that's for all right. Sure. You've only been solving for a couple of months, right? Couple months, yeah. Yeah, so that's, this is really great. <laughs> all right, Nana's is grandmother's. Nana's, very good. Uh, how about that down? Uh, geometric calculations. calculations. Or a liqueur flavor. Ooh. Ah, well, we've only we've got three out of the four letters, so by and large, it's going to be a fruit. Oh, pear. Okay. Very good. Uh, areas. It should be areas. Uh, yep. And we've got shark at the end. Taking the dog. Something yeah. shark. <laughs> <laughs> this could get grisly. Yeah, like <laughs> I, I hope the dog is okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not the dog. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's 24 down? Do we have any prayer of solving it? Let's Let see. see. Words with friends for one. Okay, okay. what's the four one? <laughs> yes, the four one means we're looking for something um, that words with friends would be an example of. It would okay. fall into this category. Okay, got it. Well, it's, uh, let's see. Hmm. It's a game. So yeah. Game. And what would blank blank P be? If it's on your phone in particular. Oh, game app. Very good. There we go. Very good. Okay. And uh, let's see. SNL uh, it says that, um, where are we? 20. Yes. Uh, that quick part two would be named shark. So taking a dog named Shark there is what we have so far. So right now we have a fluffy oh. little pooch named Shark. And then EP, EPA is the cleaner EPA, word. Very good. And I don't, I don't know what this <laughs> drink is. I don't think That's I've ever. That's okay. That's all right. Let's let's drink. skip around. What about this one? Venture to declare. Ooh. Venture ah, to declare. India. Oh, okay. And we have an Indian mega city crossing there. Oh. What is a big city in India? Well, 
<laughs> Honestly, the only one I know is Dubai, and that doesn't fit. So it's not Dubai. Right. Yeah. No, we're looking for a, a really big city in India. A really big city. Hmm. But we can come back. That's okay. If we can get the first letter of it, I'll probably be able to get it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Here, catch in the act. If you, this is another, uh, you know, very popular uh, verb in the New York Times crossword. Oh, catch in the act. If, if, yes. Hmm. Like nab. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Now we uh, we have some people who want to help you with that mega city. Do you? Would you oh, like to help? It. The answer uh, people are saying is Delhi. There you go. There you go. Now let's go back to uh, the that crosser there. Dare, dare say. Dare say, right? I dare say. And um, hmm, quick part Frez. is fres. Fres. Is it Fresna? Is that a drink? I don't know. No, Fresno is a city in uh, California, but Fre Fresna is not a brand of soda. Fres Fresca. 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 Very good. All right. So we've got something, something, the beach. Is it just to the beach? It probably could be. Let's put it in and find out. Let's see if we get anything on the left-hand side. Outstanding accomplishments. Mm. And a portion or aesthetic judgment. Mm. All of these we're getting, we're getting nowhere <laughs> How about a total bargain? I got this for deal. Deal. deal, right? Exactly. All right. So if you apportion something, you're giving it out in bits and certain amounts to people. So mm -hmm. what would oh, be a lot? Very good. Excellent. And, then, and Valeria Silvestri, who is one of our Italian uh, viewers, says Fresta means fresh in Italian. That's yes, good to know. there you go. I've definitely I've heard it before. I didn't know it was a Coke brand. A Coke. It, aren't we all? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> all, it's either owned by Coke or Pepsi. Um, so outstanding accomplishments. Let's look at the crossers there. Trio of Greek goddesses. Oh, we didn't know before. Hmm. I, you know what? At first, I thought it might have been the Muses, but we've got that A there. Can you think of another group of goddesses that might have an A and an E? Hmm. Greek goddesses. If chat wants to help, they can. They can help with this one. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I think that the somebody before said the fates, the three oh, fates. The fates. There are three of them. There's yeah. lots. Yeah, there's lots of trios in in Greek mythology. That's too. That's true. Now these uh, outstanding accomplishments. Oh, okay. Feats. Exactly. Good job. And aesthetic judgment. If you have good something. Oh, taste. Yes. And here's a here's an important word, Elan. You're going to see that a lot oh, okay. in, in crossword puzzles. Generally, when people are making puzzles, they absolutely love and can use words that have the vowel consonant, vowel consonant pattern mm. because of very the way we, we interconnect words. So those are those are very useful. Elan, one of my friends told me e EP is something that's used often for swords. Oh, epi, epi, okay. yes, uh, an epi okay. is a type of fencing sword. Exactly. There's a there's a whole bunch of crosswordies that uh, you'll see coming up a lot. Um, oh, old Russian rulers that is czar. Yes. Now, is it CZ or TS? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see. I, Isaac is betting on TS. She, she, yeah, maybe Isaac's giving us some help here. Right. Uh, let's see. Computer whiz. Ooh. A something -y. Techie, techie. Techie. Very good. All right. We got this. Look at us down at the bottom of the puzzle. Native of Glasgow, e.g. Oh, or Scott. Scott. A Scott, yes. Uh Sam... well, opera slow is a, is an aria. Yes, very I like good. Like all the arts, the arts ones are okay. 
yes. <laughs> but that's a good that's a good point. We all have our wheelhouses, and the arts questions are yours, there plus you a whole bunch of other things. <laughs> so, Step on a ladder should be a rung. Right, and that means that the sandy color is ecru, and the penny or nickel is a coin. Come on, let's bring this home. We got this. All righty. Oh, this boxer. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's take a look. We've got one more quip, part of the quip. Taking a dog named Shark to the beach. I... Mm. That's okay. Let's see if we can get the downs. Okay. Yeah, any of them. <laughs> T13R says, oh. password puzzle makers have to pay a fee if they don't put Aria in a puzzle. This is, true. <laughs> no. is this idle? uh let's see no, keep, keep an, an engine, engine running without moving yeah okay. I -E -L -E. very good um now this is a tough one it's a fill in the blank but not a lot of people have heard it scarce as a blank teeth or sca Ooh. scarce as blank teeth that's 65 across yeah oh i've never heard i've not heard that one We'll go That's down right. like you some do if you do enough crossword puzzles. This neon? Yes. Neon, like some advertising lights. Okay. And then has dinner. Hmm. Very simple. Eat, eat, eat eats. 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 Yes. Okay. Um, so <laughs> it's sharp as hen's teeth. Hen's teeth. Oh, I'm sorry, scarce as hen's teeth because chickens don't have teeth hens don't have teeth okay uh opening on a schedule is a slot yep there's a slot uh, and something an idea so yeah. I took my dog. What, what kind of an idea is if you're taking a dog named shark to the beach what kind of an idea is that is it A bad idea. <laughs> it's a bad idea because if you go calling <laughs> calling your dog shark, shark, <laughs> that's a bad idea. You'll have everybody, you know, closing up and running. Uh let's see. Let's finish this up. Down oh, at the bottom. Let's see. We still don't know the boxer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. The name starts with an A. One of the most famous boxers of all time. Oh, Ali. Very good. Muhammad Ali said, Muhammad. I float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. There we go. And oh, we are oh. almost done. Help in wrongdoing. If you okay. aid and a bet. A bet. So at hey. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we did it. Yes. That was great. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Thanks for all the help and all the encouragement in the chat. That was helpful. How do you feel? It was good. I mean, it's a lot to get through. This is why I stick to the minis, but it's, it's yes. a, yeah. <laughs> well, let, let me ask you this. Now that you have seen that the Monday puzzles, at least, are not that threatening, uh, do you think you'd be more likely, if you have the time, do you think you'd be more likely to do it? I think I think so. I think um, I'll use auto check in place of your all's, uh, <laughs> your all's uh, con consistent uh, uh feedback <laughs> yes well just think of us all here you know cheering you on rebecca hardison says i am so impressed <laughs> oh thanks rebecca <laughs> and uh rebecca also works for the new york times that and um i think you did absolutely great i i hope you do try the mondays and and always start with those you don't want to start with the saturday puzzle God help you. Um, it's the Saturdays are probably the most difficult uh, to get through. Sundays are probably midweek in difficulty. They're just bigger. Mm, okay. So I think uh, I think you can do this. And the more you do it, the better the better you'll get, and the faster you'll get, and the less you'll need us. All righty. Sounds good. Well, sounds good. I definitely will. At least give the Mondays a try. They seem yeah. they seem approachable. So I hope everyone else thinks so too. If you're new, and you like. Oh, it. absolutely. Um, Amber Fowler says we did it. Go, Jamie. Valeria Silvestra says brava. Uh, SNL says I started doing a string of Mondays, which is a great 
uh, about a year ago, <laughs> go COVID. Yes. Well, you know what? I think a lot of people took up uh, crossword puzzle solving uh, during the pandemic just to pass the time. And it's kind of addictive. I mean, once you start, it's very hard to stop, especially when you have some success like this. Yes. And you know, um, you know, you know that you can get through it. You know, with help or without. And in fact, T13R says, um, the thing that I liked in the how-to article was to do it however you like to do it. Like Googling some stuff is fine. Absolutely. In fact, um, I give you official permission to, to uh, look up whatever you want. Because honestly, one of the fun things about solving, I think, is learning new stuff. You know, there are some things that I didn't know in this puzzle, and you learned about, you know, Edam cheese and the fact that it's yes. wrapped in wax. That's the that's the Edam cheese I'll never forget it in my life. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> and um, yes, Amber Fowler is talking about looking up uh, coffee and crosswords on TikTok. We had Katie Grog, who runs the Coffee and Crosswords TikTok, uh, as our guest last week, and she helped us uh, launch. And she's got a wonderful TikTok stream. Uh, if you're on TikTok and you're not following her, you are really missing out. Um, and I hope you'll come back here uh, every Monday and, and join us for solving. Um, I can try to, I'll try to help in, in any way I can, but I don't well, know. Well, that's, that's the best part. You know, once you learn, pay it forward, help somebody else get started. Because for every, every person who learns how to solve, there are probably 10 who would like to get started. Oh, so uh, now I, I, I ask you to go back to the HR department and teach all of your colleagues <laughs> what you've learned. I would um, that. Or at least direct them to the guide because that's what it's there for. And yeah, I know about that guide. So yep. good to learn. Roger Winkleman says, uh, my day goes better after I hear the musical tag. Yep. Everybody loves that Finnish music. That's called the San Jose Strut for mm -hmm. people who don't know about it. Um, SNL, oh, says Deb, thanks so much for wordplay. You are very welcome. I love being there and I love the fact that everybody joins me every day to listen to my blather and to li listen to Rachel Fabie's blather and Caitlin Lovinger on the weekends. We, um, we really want to help people get started solving. Um, that is our main goal with wordplay and to keep people playing our other games as well, like Spelling Bee. Are you a Spelling Bee player, Jamie? I've only done, um, I do the Vertex since they, they made that game specifically for people who are not good at word games. So that's, that's, See, that, uh, yes, and that's a visual puzzle. I am not very good at Vertex. Oh, okay. Okay, so maybe maybe we can help each other. We'll, we'll try, yes. Yeah. Terrific, well, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm really glad uh, you were able to join us and I hope you had fun. It was a lot of fun and it was nice to hear from people in the chat and learn some tips along the way. So hopefully, yeah, definitely we'll keep on solving. Okay, that's terrific. And I, I hope you do too. I want to thank everybody who joined us today uh, to help Jamie along and to, uh, you know, support our guests. Uh, once again, this is Deb Amlin for the New York Times, uh, wishing you a happy Thursday.